another month bites the dust and here I am to bring you monthly favorites of the things that I have been loving, I purchased, and some old favorites as well and there's a couple of fails in here so let's get into that video right now. Hi friends, how are you doing today? I am bringing you what I loved and what I didn't love so much in the month of April. I cannot believe that this year is going by so quickly. I know that that gets said so many times in monthly favorites videos, but it's very true. So we're gonna get into that immediately. One of the things that I was really surprised by is that this month I tried three different primers. Well, this one is probably a little bit older than that. Um, I did try these three primers to tested them extensively and liked every one of them. The NYX Marshmallow Primer. Now I will say that this does have a fragrance of like a vanilla, highly vanilla-y fragrance, but as far as it doing what it's supposed to do, which is sinking into the skin and blurring pores and being just that really kind of slip that you get when you want your pores to be filled in, and then also creating the barrier between your moisturizer and your foundation so, your mo so that your foundation doesn't get sucked into your skin it really does a good job and as i'm working with it right here and showing you what it's feeling like it just sinks in so lovely and then it's left with that beautiful blurring property and like i said there is quite a strong fragrance in here so if you have an adherence to fragrance or you really just don't like them at all you know maybe an allergy when there's fragrance then this is probably not for you but i really have been enjoying it and i know that they do have the sample size not a sample size but a deluxe size that you can try it out if you don't want to do that because this is kind of a little bit more pricey but things at the drugstore seem to be getting kind of pricey these days the other one that i really like a lot is these this mousse one from flower beauty so this one is i gotta put glasses on for this this one is their supernova celestial priming whip so it comes in the purple bottle and it looks just like a mousse that you would put on your hair and actually when you pour it out it comes out like a mousse just the same way now what i do is i actually put those two primers together because this one is going to have just the most pretty glow on it i really love this little glow that it gets and i really enjoy it a lot it's just been one that i have really liked the feel of it sinks into the skin really nicely sometimes with these hydrating ones or with these glowy ones they have a tendency to disrupt my foundation this one doesn't it's great it just creates just an just a really, really soft candlelight glow. And then there is one that I did compare to Charlotte Tilbury's primer that everybody's talking about. Can't remember, I'll throw it up here. I think it's Flawless Filter, but I don't wanna say that wrong either. This is the Makeup Revolution Fix and Glow Ultra Glow Primer. Really, really have been enjoying this a lot. This has the dimethicone in it, so you're gonna get a little bit of the pore filling, but this is the most pretty illuminating primer that I've seen in a long time. And I have a lot of them at the drugstore but the reason that i like this one i think is because it still gives this subtle glow but it also has pigments in there that help to blur the complexion so if you have a complexion that is kind of sallow or you know you have a lot of discoloration it still evens out the complexion just a little bit but it has that glow that can give any foundation just a very subtle look to it. And I do have this one under everything today, um, along with the marshmallow one. I actually mixed these two together today. But yeah, I don't know why I did three primers this month, but I really have been enjoying all three. The other thing that I was kind of surprised at Essence came out with three new palettes that were from Disney uh, in collaboration with Disney. I didn't get them. Um, Little Mermaid one. It was already sold out when I found these. I got the Snow White and then I got the Sleeping Beauty Aurora. And I really like these. I like the formula on them and I like the color scheme that they did too. So this is the Aurora one or the Sleeping Beauty one. And this is the one that I have on my eyes today. All of these aren't high high metallic now some of them are some of them are like a really really strong metallic but some of them are just the right amount like this one right here is what i have all over my lid and it's just the right amount of metallic without being too harsh the other thing that i really like about it is that the mattes in here 
they're very, very pretty and they're very buttery. And I didn't feel like I had a lot of skipping. I didn't feel like I had a lot of texture with them. Now, they're not going to be like a Juvia's Place or the LA Girl ones that I love so much, those um, 16 pan palettes. They're a little bit less in the quality of that, but I really did enjoy these and I really enjoyed the color scheme on this one. I think it's so pretty. And then the other color scheme on the Snow White one, I think is equally as pretty. So you have that bright cobalt blue, which I think is so gorgeous. And then this really bright metallic green. Look at how highly pigmented that blue is. Just really highly pigmented. And then you have all of these other colors. Some are mattes and then some are the metallic. The green is a metallic. And then this last one right here, beautiful metallic. That color is like a taupey, mauve color. So pretty. So I do like the color scheme in here as well. I think it's just every bit as gorgeous. And I really enjoyed working with these and having them. And they're not going to break the bank to get a huge palette like this. And I'm not exactly sure how much these are, but I will make sure that I link them. And they were out at Ulta, but you can still order them on the Essence website. So I really did enjoy that. Let's talk about a fail, and this is an eyeshadow fail. Here is the new palettes that LA Girl did just come out with. These are the new 16 pan palettes. I'll tell you why they're a fail. Number one is that every dang time I get these from Ulta, they do not package them well enough. I don't know exactly what's going on, but Ulta packaged these terrible. I mean, they're awful when they get packaged and sent. So what I do love about the LA Girl 16 pan palettes, gorgeous, huge mirror. Packaging is very heavy duty. And I usually love the color scheme that they go for. When you're looking at this, if you, these are your colors, this is going to be fine. But here's what got me this time on these two palettes. Number one, when you put out a palette in summertime, wouldn't you think, and especially with the, the name Hey Hey Vacay eyeshadow palettes, wouldn't you think that it would be a summertime scheme? This is the most autumn palette I've ever seen. This is so, so, it's just autumn. There is nothing summertime about it. Now, granted, this one right here is a little bit better as far as having that teal blue color, but here's the other kicker. Take a look at them side by side orange orange brown brown lights lights and then two little pops of color thrown into each one but other than that these palettes palettes are almost identical there is no cool colors in here whatsoever la girl has yet to come out with a cool tone palette in these big ones and i wish that that's what they do so these are a fail for me this time and the reason is is because basically they are just two palettes that are identical to each other and they're so warm that I can't really justify dipping into this one at all. I can't even use that one at all. And this one I've tried to use these, but they all turn into an orangey coral color. And so I'm really disappointed in these. And you guys know I have every single one except for the yellow one that they came out with. I have them. I love them. I love the formula. So if either of those are appealing to you, go ahead and jump on it. But for me, these are a big time fail this time, which I hate to say, but I said it. Okay, moving on. I have three foundations that I tried and that I really like. The first one is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Glow Foundation. And mine is in F7, I believe. Yes. And this is a great color for me. It is a neutral undertone. I love their packaging. They always do a glass bottle with the you know pump which even some high-end companies don't do but I really enjoy this foundation it's a beautiful foundation that goes so pretty on my skin now I don't have it on today because I'm testing something else but this is a great foundation for coverage but if you like a dewy skin foundation this is going to be your foundation it covers like a dream it doesn't settle into any of my fine lines it didn't show up any texture and it lasts a really good long time throughout the day usually glowing or glowy satiny foundations don't last that long but this one did great and i was so happy to find this and i love a dewy foundation now i know in summertime it's a little bit harder if you're oily skin or if you have combo skin to wear these kinds of foundations but if you have dry to normal skin i think you're going to absolutely love it now 
in the case that you do have dry to normal skin and that's not a foundation that you could wear i bet you can wear this one and i am in love with the sephora best skin ever foundation this is one of the prettiest foundations that i found in a long time and i compare this to the zoeva authentic skin or the nars radiant foundation which both of those are beautiful foundations they cover my imperfections they even out my skin tone that's what this one does and this one gives you just a skin like finish without using very much product at all now as i'm using it and i'm working it across my hand it looks so gorgeous even the feel of it is absolutely gorgeous it's not like a super thin foundation but it's not thick either and as you work it into your skin it completely makes you look like you have your best skin ever just like it says and i think that it's just one of those gorgeous gorgeous foundations that just about anybody can wear except if you're super duper oily and i think that even if you laid this down with some powder which is what most of my oily skin gals have to do i think that you would love this i'm going to go pick this up in my summer color as you can see right there it's a little bit light and i am starting to kind of self tan so i'm going to go pick this up in another color and that's the other thing this is a cool color most foundations when you say cool they don't look cool on the skin but this one just blended in absolutely perfectly i found my perfect shade i think they have a ton of shades in this and i think that you'll really like it again glass bottle with a pump and i just love it this is probably my number one pick for foundation this time now this next thing is something that i found on tiktok and then i heard risa does makeup talk about it and i wanted to try it so bad okay i first got the color i think this is light zero one zero nope this is light zero one zero and then i went back and i got these two colors because i knew i was going to be doing you know self tanning and i wanted a little bit darker so this color right here which is light zero one eight this one first one zero one zero way too light this one is my perfect for winter when i don't self tan this one is great in the summer when i am self tanning so i mix these two together right and i love them this is such a pretty product and i was really surprised because you know usually when you're looking at a makeup like this you know you're looking at something that's going to be heavy on the skin it's going to be hard for a mature woman to wear not this this buffs in to your skin like a dream it's beautiful i it just it buffs out i don't care if you have you know your skin's whiter and you want to look for look at a tan or look like you got a tan right now this is gorgeous it is so pretty and you know right here it's looking a little bit orange that's because of the color of it but look how pretty it does and how much it makes that look just like i've got a tan the other thing is i'm gliding my hands over these now that i've worked them in and honestly there's a tiny bit of transfer but not a ton they dry down to your skin so that they look like you've got a beautiful powder on without any cakiness without anything like that now i was planning on doing a video where i try these on i don't know if you guys would be interested in that or not but let me know this is something that everybody's talking about right now for good reason they are truly truly beautiful foundations and yeah i think they're gorgeous okay let's talk about a fail again this is my other fail i only had the two of them this time and these are the milani i have to get my glasses okay i thought i had the name of it memorized supercharged brightening under eye tint and i got the pink rose and i got the peach and this is okay but it's not anything that i could wear and use as a you know a color corrector because as you can see the peach right there you can't even tell that there's anything there and as far as brightening once this is dried down it doesn't really show any brightening on it i know that there are some people that have really been enjoying these but for me i have to have something that's a little bit thicker to cover how dark my circles are so i think that if you're somebody that wants to wear these as primer which is probably what i'm going to do to kind of use them up is use them as a primer underneath my foundation because they are very very hydrating and i do feel like they do a little bit of perfecting to your skin but not enough so this is an under eye product i really don't feel like they hit the mark i don't feel like they would give you the coverage that you wanted or even the color correcting that you wanted so i was really kind of disappointed in that because you guys know how much i love my milani all right let's talk about 
what I have been beating like a dead horse are these Becca. This is the Light Shifter Finishing Veil, and I have it in the color one, and I have it in the color two. Sorry about the dogs. So the color one is kind of just fair and very light, and then the color two it's just a little bit darker. I think they have six colors. And I have seen the sixth one. It's really deep. It's really pretty. And so when you first put your finger in here, you're going to go, that doesn't feel like powder, which it doesn't. And then you're going to go, how in the world is that going to make a difference in my skin? Because when you put this on your skin, look at, you cannot, you can't see it. Even with the darker one, you cannot see that. Look at how I'm buffing that. Okay. This melts into the skin like nothing I've ever used it is so light and so airy and so non-powdery there is no cakiness there's no building it up to where it looks cakey i mean you can use a lot of this and i've shown this before i will show it again because i think this is so impressive but anyway i'm really digging into here okay i dug into there a ton and now i'm just going to buff this across my face there is no way that you would ever be able to detect that this is powder and look how aggressive i'm getting there is no powderiness. There is no cakiness. There is nothing that even looks like a powder where you get that powdery look after you put that much on. This has a light shifting property, just like the name says, where it just looks gorgeous. I cannot reiterate enough how much in love I am with these powders. And yes, I'm going to be buying them until Becca closes their doors. And I know as soon as they do that these are going to get a price hike like crazy. And it's just going to be one of those things that you won't even be able to touch. So right now, every time there's a little bit of a sale or every time I get paid, I'm picking one up because I want to have this powder forever. And I hope that along the way somewhere, I can actually find a dupe for this. I have come close with e.l.f. and I will show you that in another video really close with a powder that I found from e.l.f., but not to this point. This is unbelievably beautiful, no powder powder look. It's just so pretty in how it buffs and blurs and makes my skin look flawless. I love this stuff. I also want to show you this brush. I have been reaching for this brush so much this month, and I was like, I forgot how much I love this. This is a multi-purpose brush for me. This is a Sigma Pencil E30. I love this brush because of its shape. It is a pencil brush. Yes, it's a little bit stiffer, but at the same time, it is a little bit wider than a normal smudge brush. And what I do with this is I take my powder, whatever I'm using, and I can just barely go into it and then it just lays down on that inner corner so pretty it's just like it's the perfect tip to lay down in there because you don't have to worry about well what am i doing where am i putting everything there's ollie hi ollie hi and the other thing that it's wonderful at is if you just take the tip of it and dab it into your darker color and then you can go and you can do this smudging that is really light but you can deepen it up as you need to. And the other nice thing is that as you're smudging, you don't need so much because you have that precision tip. And again, I want you to see that if you can. That tip is so precise and it just goes in and it just does perfect for my eyes. And I have a hard time on my under eyes because I don't like to put a ton of liner on there, but I do want to define it a little bit so it shows off the, the eye shape. But at the same time, I need something that is precise enough that if my hands wiggle around like they do when I shake that I'm not going to make a mess and I just I love this brush for so many things and I just clean it off in between on a rag and then I'll use it to do up in my eyebrows if I want to it's just so multi-purpose and I'm gonna order another one because I don't want to be without it and I feel like it's that good and they're not terribly expensive at Sigma. It's kind of a mid-range, so it's not like super duper expensive, but it's not like super duper cheap either. Also this month, I did try this Rose All Stay Illuminating Setting Spray from Physicians Formula. What I got so impressed about with this one is that it has a lot of the glow in it. The Catrice one I like for a setting spray as far as a very light, very subtle glow but this one has a pretty definite glow. And let's see if we can tell the difference on my hand here. So I'm gonna just shake that up. The mister on this is really fine as well. I really like that, so you can go really light on it. And I don't know if it's gonna show up or not. 
Let me put a little bit extra on there. Now I want it to dry down. Um, yes, it does look dewy while it's wet, but I want it to dry down so you guys can see as well. So it's almost dry here. And then you cut, you, hopefully you can see what it does. It does give a beautiful glowy look and it has a lot more. If you can see on the bottom there, when you look at the Catrice one, it just has a little bit of the pearlescent look in it. This one, don't mess around. It has a lot of that pearle pearlescent rose look. It does have a teeny tiny little rose fragrance to it, but it's not overwhelming. And like now I can't smell it. All I can smell is the marshmallow, <laughs> but I can't smell the rose anyway. So for me, this dissipates really quickly as far as the smell goes. And then it just, it leaves a beautiful glow. Can you see that glow on there? And I, yes, I did clean it off after the makeup revolution one and the other one that I use. So this is definitely worth looking into. If you like physician's formula, I think you'll love this stuff. All right. Next thing is a eye cream. I know I talk about this, but lately I have been just having a whole new appreciation for the Suko Yakasuhara Urea Eye Cream. I know, I know, I know. I talk about this so much, but I love this stuff to death. It is a very, very super duper hydrating concentrate eye cream that will puff up your wrinkles and really go in there and just really hydrate them so that you don't look like you're the crypt keeper i know i say that all the time in my videos when i get this under eye area going it looks terrible because i have such bad wrinkles and yeah i want to do botox and you know get them all plumped up but i can't afford it and i don't know really if i want to take the chance on that so this stuff is my saving grace because it hydrates, hydrates, hydrates. It's so soothing. If I have a day where I really just cannot handle my Retin-A use and my, or my Tretinoin and just really, you know, irritated my eyes and they just really feel dry and irritated around them, this is amazing. It just is so hydrating. And this is gonna be an all day hydration. You know how some of them, you put them on, they feel great, even for an hour afterwards, and then like one, two o'clock, you're going, oh my gosh, my under eyes look bad. It feels so dry. And this is all day hydration. I swear by it. I just love it. These products from them are some of the best hydrating products I've ever found. So if you're a dry skin gal, even if you're not a dry skin gal, I want to say if you're an oily skin gal, but you suffer from horrible creepiness, crinkling around here, still give this a try because it's all about being dehydrated. You can be oily. Somebody reminded me of this very recently. You can be oily and still have dehydrated skin. So try this. And I think that you will be pleasantly surprised at how amazing it is on your skin and what it does for those fine lines and wrinkles underneath your makeup, underneath your concealer. It just really gives you this gorgeous base that you can go on top of and, you know, have your concealer look halfway decent because that's more of the struggle that we have than just about anything is this area right here. Love it, love it, love it. Can't say enough good about it. I know I talk about it often, but I have had a whole new appreciation for it recently with my new skincare regimen that I just showed you guys in another video. That's what I wanted to talk about this month. Those are the things that I found that I love. Have you found things that you love this month? I would love to hear about those in the comment section below. I love the interchange that we get going. Please ask any questions that you have about any of that you have about any of these products and let me know. Thanks guys for spending a little bit of your day with me. Please. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Love you much. Bye-bye.